I think GPUs um, in any AI infrastructure, GPUs are the most expensive piece of it and you right. want to keep them busy. So the throughput and the saturation becomes extremely important. And uh, from storage standpoint, it's our responsibility to push as much as data that we can to GPUs and networking becomes one of the bottlenecks in that uh, perspective. That's why 800 gig network yep. is so exciting for all of us. And then when you add it with S3 over RDMA, you're really able to saturate it because there you can see like 2x difference, you know, HTTP versus RDMA performance. That's where it really, really shines. So that's the optimizations from the storage standpoint that we have done to saturate the GPU. Uh, coming to the applied AI part, I think that's uh, one of the things that we will continue to see innovation in next uh, two to three years from enterprise perspective, how they start to consume. The exciting part, there is a couple of uh, organizations that are doing applied AI right now. Autonomous vehicles are great. They're coming up with their robotaxi, Optimus robots. I think that's the real use case scenario where we see the lot of data growth and real applied AI that's going to impact all of us, you know, in a very, very meaningful way. Healthcare is another part where we see a lot of the applied AI getting used. So there are very specific verticals who are leveraging applied AI, but in terms of general purpose, I do feel that uh, the training models that are happening, that's still going to be the predominant one for another one to two years till we see AI applications getting built out on top of them.